In construction, you have excavation of pits and you have excavation of trenches, which normally is below the groundwater table and also floods during the time of stormwater events, and it has to be dewatered. The dewatering of that creates sediment, and you cannot discharge that sediment directly to the stream, so therefore you have to do some type of treatment. A typical dewatering is, is what we have set up here. You dewater from the trench or the excavation into some type of, of filter bag, sediment pond, or straw bale barricade. And that filters water out and takes the sediment out and lets it go back to the stream naturally. Sediment bags is a, a geotechnical bags that you pump the water in and it filters the water out and then lets the clean water either go through the vegetative strip or back to the stream. Silt fence, you can put that into a basin type setup and line it with straw bales and so forth and you can pump into that and it filters out the sediment. Basically it's a pond and you pump the water into the pond, which is the most common method, and it spreads out and slows down, allows the sediment to settle out and the clear water to run out the other end. Sometimes one sedimentation pond will do it, there may be a series of sedimentation ponds, but what a sedimentation pond does is lets it spread out, settle, and then discharge out the other end. You can either run them in single or series. Sediment bags, you can run them in series. They're more conducive to linear projects like line light work, so work because they're easier to move. You can uh, use them in conjunction with straw bales, vegetative strips, and so forth, and they're much easier to maintain. That is an area that's it's got a lot of the vegetation that will allow the water to spread out and settle out in, in the vegetative area and then clean the water before it goes back to the stream. They have to be maintained. They cannot be just you know put in and forgot about. No one option will work for any one particular construction site. You may have to use a series of these options for construction sites because most of the line work is, is moving and you can't put a permanent structure in for any type of settling and on, on a moving project. Under the RMP, each re resident project representative has to uh, note on his daily reports that he's looked at the dewatering operations and everything is working properly. If there's any variation where it's not working properly, that has to be documented. And also they do a weekly inspection for ESC. All these methods can be found on the Lexington Stormwater site and the forms can be found in the project construction section of the uh, website. It varies from project to project. The, the worst thing you can get into is a project where you've got a tunnel going on or grinding rock and so forth because the rock dust is harder to eliminate. But the best thing we found is sedimentation ponds for the rock dust. We're just trying to keep the Lexington streams clean and, and safe and unpolluted.